Greetings YouTube, Big Silver Bear here, coming back at you with another video. Uh, an Atmex unboxing, another uh, miscellaneous piece of mail that I got. Uh, coming in with uh, another piece of silver and to showcase some of the finds that I've made this month that haven't uh, made it into a video yet. So uh, buckle up, get yourself a cold beer, sit back, throw your feet up on the desk, relax and enjoy the show. First of all, here's, this is not the Atmex order, next will be the Atmex order, but this is just uh, another thing that I ordered off of eBay. Ah uh, oh yes, oh yes. I forget what the hell it is, to be totally honest with you. I have a few things coming in and I didn't look to see what this was going to be, so uh, Let's open it and find out. Oh. They bulletproof the packaging. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Welsh dragon thingamajiggers with the uh, with the uh, eyeball on the back. Very, very cool. Let me uh, come down with this just a little bit. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful silver round. Absolutely love it. The uh, Welsh dragon. I picked this up for a very reasonable price at $20.15. And if it would just come in focus so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Kind of cool that the dragon's looking back at you. All right, we'll put that off to the side. And now for the moment that we've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Okay. This is uh, what I bought from Atmex. some crap out of the way. There, crap out of the way. And let me hunt out the little pink piece of paper that has all my sensitive information. There it is right there. All right. And oh, hey. Okay. What? The, oh. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> I didn't forget what I ordered from that next. I just wasn't expecting it to look like that. All right, two uh, hand-poured one-ounce Wolfhead silver bars. Go ahead and break these bad boys out, I suppose. Just for my uh, YouTube audience here. Break one out. Is that not cool or what? I like these things. I like them quite a bit. One troy ounce. And I, uh, I got two of them, actually. Uh, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, uh, my little, uh, Angela lobsters. Very, very cool. I'm leaving those like that, though. The other one came that way, too. Very cool. These are limited edition. I, I don't remember. Maybe 25,000 were made. And, uh, of course, I had to have another 2019. I bought some of these prior, also. Um... The uh, 2019 Eagle early releases MS70. Uh, these are really not all that easy to come across, and that's why I decided to purchase another one. So, in addition to the uh, opening my mail and having some unboxings for you, I have some more uh, purchases to share with you. That I this is a flea market find. Uh, an 1865 three cent nickel. Uh, I paid three dollars and twenty five cents for it. I kind of feel like I stole it for that amount of money. I couldn't say no to it. It's in really, really nice shape. 
and a uh, an 1851 large scent. And I paid three dollars for it, and that one's also in really nice shape. Oh yeah, and I got a little uh, 10 gram silver bar here with my boy Jesus on it. He is the good shepherd. Give, give the Lord Jesus a little shout out there. Nothing special on the back of it. It's engravable if you wanted to engrave it. <clears throat> and uh, from the mother load mint, let me see if I can take this out of here. That's kind of beat up. <clears throat> Anyways, a little holder. This is uh, the Alamo. This is a very old vintage, I believe from the 70s. I want to say that the Motherlode Mint made these bars. And uh, hold your horses here, because I got, yeah, I got a Scottsdale stacker round. Everybody has seen them before. And a couple of, uh, I got this from my coin shop, my favorite coin shop, or one of my favorite coin shops. These are the 2012 uh, Year of the Dragon one ounce rounds. I got a couple of those. And uh, some 2018 South African Krugerrands. <clears throat> and uh, hold on to your britches because I do got some good, some good stuff to show you. And I may have showcased this earlier uh, in a previous video this month. Um, the Barbados Lionfish. Which, oh yeah, that's the right side up. There you go. I've still left that in the original package and all. And uh, I got a 2018 MS69. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it though. It was pretty cheap. Um, China Panda. And let's see. Give me just a moment. All right. This is a uh, a 2013 Canada colorized coin that I got at one of my favorite coin shops. It's got a bunch of. It's hard to distinguish, but uh, it does have a, like a bunch of sea life in the background of it, and it's the 20 the <clears throat> 25th anniversary. And also from the same shop at the same time. I got this gold gilded uh, one and a quarter ounce uh, wood bison. A very sweet, very beautiful coin. And uh, I always get good deals there. And this is the, I believe it's a 2011 uh, Australian koala with the uh, privy, the, bur the bear privy. There's only, I believe, 10,000 of those available. And uh, I got that at a very nice price as well. Let me see if I can get it to come into focus for you so you can ad adore and admire how beautiful it is. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> and this is the 2017 Grim Reaper. Only 10,000 of these made. And another uh, cheap score that I picked up on eBay for 20 bucks. And uh, the, I believe this is the 2015. Let me get my eyeballs. Yes, it's the 2015. Gorilla from Congo. I don't know. I think I have like four or five of those. And a 2017 Panda. Another I picked up really cheap. And uh, the uh, this is from the Twelve Labors of Hercules. The Mariners of Diomedes. That's a very cool coin. Very, well, not a coin, but a round. And... Very nice. And what do I got here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Big Silver Bear, of course, had to get a Big Silver Bear. This is a, a 2001 uh, Mexican $5. And uh, as you can see, it's got a very cool silver bear on it. And these are very, very rare. 
exceptionally difficult to find. Um, I got this at a really, really good price again on eBay, uh, 26 bucks, uh, 0.999 silver, and uh, it goes in my big silver bear, big silver bear collection. And another really nice score that I got from my LCS was this colorized Year of the Dragon, Australia, one ounce coin, 2012. These are very, very rare, very hard to come by, and it's the only one that I have in my collection. And, uh, see what else, oh yeah, yeah, we're going to like this, this is good. Give me just a second here, sports fans. This here, I have to read the card to remember what it is. Dia de los Muertos, I hope I didn't butcher that. But a little certificate of authenticity that comes with it. It's number 382 of a thousand mented. And it's a domed round. And it's actually one of the most impressive rounds I've ever seen. And man, if I can just get the. You can't. It's, it is so polished and so proof. It's not probably going to come in very clearly and without. Man, oh man. But it's a sight to behold. It really is. Let's see if you can... It's all convexed right in here. And just the details of it are absolutely magnificent and beautiful. And the proof finish on it is one of the finest I've ever seen. And only a thousand of it made. And somewhere's... Yeah, right here. I don't know whether or not that's going to come up in the camera. But right there, it's serial numbered. And uh, it's just so well polished that light is just bouncing off of it. And it's uh, really hard to distinguish and pick up the details in the camera. I'm trying to be patient with it here. There we go. There we go. But still, regardless of how hard you try and how patient you are, it just that light ref refracting off of it is something else. But nonetheless, uh, a very rare, very beautiful piece to have. Even nicer when you don't drop it. Okay, and this was another piece that I uh, showcased. This would be the second to the last piece that I got today. Uh, the Celtic Lore. Uh, I made this video especially for uh, one of my subscribers. And I'll just show off the dragon again. You can see this in another video, but absolutely beautiful antique finish coin, the Celtic Lore Red Dragon. It came in this fancy, sh fancy schmancy, fancy pants box with a fancy pants COA from Howard David Johnson. A little magnetic uh, hasp or clasp or whatever you want to call that there. And last but not least, from Provident Metal, I have another antique dragon. <coughs> that uh, There was only 2,000 of it made. And uh, this is uh, another limited edition from the same guy, Howard David Johnson. Just really, really cool. I absolutely love the detail on this thing. And I love the antique finish. That's a hard beauty to beat <clears throat> when you get any kind of a, uh, a silver coin or a round or anything like that. Well, YouTube, that's about all I got for you today. Just show off some more stuff before I get ready to close up here. Give you some more eye candy. <clears throat> some more stuff to ogle over, as we all do. Uh, thank you for checking out my Atmex unboxing and uh, checking out all the coins that I got for the month. I store everything in this little blue case so I can make videos. But as you can see, the case was really starting to get full. So I, uh, af after you put all this crap back in here, the, the case is kind of full. So I, uh, I thought to just go ahead and make a uh, 
another video prematurely and just share all my goodies with you guys. And I appreciate you coming in and checking out my video. And damn, those feel cool. You never get tired of touching silver and just feeling the heft and the weight. All oh, that is awesome. I love the bare feel of it in my hands. And I love having pieces like this that I can touch. So, anyways, I'm just babbling YouTube. Uh, thank you for coming in, checking out my video. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. And uh, have a most wonderful and blessed day. Big Silver Bear out.